So today's model has something that I have never seen before and I have done over 200 plus models. Let's have a look, let's go. Hello and welcome to another episode of Orlando Home Show where strategy matters, passion rules and guys, today's model is special. I have done over 200 plus models all throughout Central Florida and Tampa areas and I have never ever covered a model that I'm covering today. It's three bedrooms, two bathroom, two car tandem garage along with an RV garage guys. And I can tell you Florida is one of the biggest state where a lot of people come and retire because of the beautiful sunshine as we have today and as we have for most part of the year. And this is something that I've never seen before and this is the first time I'm covering a model that Builder is building that has an RV garage. It's about 1980 square foot. So the first thing you're gonna notice is that you have this nice pavers. Now this is a design option. You do not get that as a standard feature so you would have to pay extra for it and so does you have to pay the extra for the stone elevation but what I like about this is that it has this nice long walkway but the good thing about this is that they have those two lights usually when you have a longer walkway the builder will just put one light and I think having nice two lights especially in the night it's kind of nice but I also like the fact that with the amount of packages and stuff that we receive and it's Florida, it's beautiful, nice and sunny, and next minute, you know, it's just storming and raining like no other tomorrow. So that is another thing to keep in mind. So it's nice. So if a package comes in, it's kind of somewhat protected. Let's go inside and check this beautiful model out. Hello, hello, and welcome to another beautiful loaded builder model. Now guys, if you are looking to buy a house anywhere in Central Florida and Tampa areas, this is a great resource. I bring you about eight plus homes every single month. So press that thumbs up button and don't forget to press that bell icon. Show us some love because it takes a lot of energy, effort and resource and I want your help so that our video shows up on uh, people that are looking, you know, and YouTube is a huge search engine. So when people are looking, we want our videos to show up. So please help me out. Today's model is absolutely beautiful. Of course, it's a builder model, so it's gonna have a lot of bells and whistles, but this is the model which is very different more so in terms of the RV garage that it offers and the two car tandem garage that it offers than in anything else. But the flow of this house is excellent. It's 1,960 square foot, three bedrooms, two bathroom, two car tandem garage and an RV garage. You, you can also make this into a four bedrooms, two bathroom and the base price is only 374,950. You heard me right, 374,950. It is located in Winter Heaven, in a community in Winter Heaven. Now guys, if you are not sure about where to live, make sure to check out Orlando Living With D. That's where I bring you community videos. So I've done a video on Winter Heaven so you can see how Winter Heaven is different from Davenport or Claremont. And you can know about school, shopping, dining, everything that you need to know to make that decision if this is the right place or not. So just keep that in mind. So the first thing you want to notice is that this eight foot door, which is a standard feature with the builder. However, the upgrade is in regards to this glass door. That is something that you would have to pay extra for it. Nine foot four ceiling height is a standard feature. The upgrade is in regards to the tiles that you see, which is upgraded. And then right over here is your very first bedroom and look at the size of this bedroom now I say this all the time guys it's not about the square footage it is more about how the house flows and it's always about the flow so just keep that in mind so look at this I'm standing right here in the corner pretty good size the only one thing that I'm not too big of a fan is this split doors because they always tend to fall or at least on me but the other thing that I want you to know is this is eight foot doors which is a standard feature with the builder you're um, at the bottom that you see the baseboards which is also standard this carpet is standard and then 
this is an upgrade this is something that you can do now if you haven't watched my video on the do's and don'ts of building a brand new home please go ahead and do so because i not only talk about them but i also show you so right over here is your shower tub combination your first bathroom with these tiles just simple tile you know simple dark tiles uh, kind of laid vertically and they do not go all the way up, but that is something that does not cost a lot of money. And if you're building from scratch, then that is something that I would probably do or also uh, probably put the wallpaper because I've seen some of the builder do. Now the standard feature with the builder would be a cultured marble. However, this is a builder upgrade. So you do have the upgraded cards with the undermount sink. Undermount sink is a standard feature. And then you have these upgraded uh, faucet handles right over here. So as I go around, this is the other bedroom that you have. What I like is that it's a pretty good size. You have this nice big window bringing in a good amount of light and look at the space that it gives you. Now I always say this and I, and I know sometimes I might repeat, but I always tell you guys, don't get hung up on the square footage, please. What you want to do is make sure that the flow of the house is good and, and that is something to keep in mind. This is what I was talking about. So this is the, the closet door and then this is where they have the other one kind of stuck. So this is why I'm not a huge fan of this because uh, for the life in me, I don't know, I'm always kind of pulling them and they're always kind of falling on me. But that's just the way it is. Now guys, please keep in mind, the biggest bang for your buck you're gonna get would be on an inventory home. And there are two kinds of inventory home. There is an inventory home where the builder says, this is the lot, this is the price, this is the upgrades, this is the color of the tiles, this, this is everything, and this is the price. And then there is other inventory home where they have picked up the structurals, like in this house, this is a three bedrooms, two bathroom with the flex space, but if this was an inventory home and it had the structural option, they could change that flex area into another bedroom. So the other kind of inventory is where they have chosen these structural options, such as the extended lanai for that matter. And, and also if they want to make a flex space into a bedroom. And then what you can do is you can go to the design center and choose the color of the tile, choose the color of your drywalls, you know, get some extra lights and stuff like that. That is something you could do it at a design center. So it's kind of semi, um, semi custom. So because you can't choose the structural because the structural, the builder has to apply for permit and, and, and when the permit comes in, nothing could be changed and it's a lot more expensive affair to go back to the county and change the permit. So that is just something to keep in mind. So what I also like as I'm standing right here, look at the amount of depth this has, like it's really nice and broad. I'm like, you have this, I've seen some homes where this, they're too skinny. So just keep that in mind. And then right over here, you also have a small closet area. So it has a good amount of space right there. It could also be used as a coat closet if you get rid of the other wirings uh, or the wire racks over here. And then as I go, this is the open space that I was talking about now. The builder gives you an option in this specific model. They can have a wall and a door and then this could be another room. One thing that I will tell you, if you're going to have a flex space or in a room that you're going to work out and you're building from ground zero, make sure you get those extra lights that you could see. Now this could be a formal sitting area, this could be your own little gym, a library, whatever you want this to be, it could be whatever works for you and your family. Now a lot of people that are coming, they're coming down because obviously Florida has a lot of sunshine days, it's, it's a beautiful weather, and I have had a lot of my clients coming from Minnesota, Milwaukee, even Canada, you know, all the cold states up north, and, and you know, most of them or quite a few of them are close to retiring or retiring. And some of them has asked me in the past that, hey, can you find us something where we can park an RV? And guess what? Not until now. This is what I found. And this builder gives you that option. They have this model and they have another one uh, which is not done. Uh, they're going to be done soon and when it's done, I will make sure that I'm the very first one to be able to do that. It may not be a completely um, a decorated model, but I will try to get you that model because that one is similar to this one, but it has a lot more space. So if you want, hey, I have a lot of grandkids, they're going to come down because Winter Heaven is just about 45 minutes down to the Disney parks and just about an hour 
or so to about uh, Universal, an hour 15, depending upon the traffic really. And if you take the expressway or not, uh, you're pretty much about 45 minutes to an hour to the airport and also to the, um, uh, the Universal and everything else. So as I walk over here, you also have another closet space right there. So this could be actually a closet space more so for the coat hangers and stuff for two days that it gets cold. And then as I go around, this is where I'm going to take you inside there because that's the feature that I really want you to look. But look at this. You have your laundry space right there. Now with Builder, please keep in mind, washer, dryer, refrigerator is not going to come. However, I am seeing builders that are giving you those options. The price of this home, the base price is 374 950 the lot price is anywhere from 3000 to about 15000 it really depends upon if it's a corner lot or whatnot and then you get some options so right like for 450 or so you can really have a beautiful house with the rv garage that you don't see most of the time i've seen it in a mobile home park where they have that open shed area where you can park your rv but then again it's a mobile home this is a proper concrete home at least for the first because most builders do not build concrete over concrete most of them will have frame over the first floor so the second floor will always be a frame now this is an upgrade so just keep that in mind and let me go ahead and take you to this space because i want you to look look at this guys wow so you have your two car garage you have that one car bay and look how deep this is and then check this out guys. Now, of course, this is a builder model, so they don't have anything, but, but what's gonna happen in standard is that you are going to have a concrete pad, but look at the depth, look at the height. You have these extra lights, you have the transoms, you also have this door. By the way, this door is usually an upgrade, so just keep that in mind. It's a structural option. You don't necessarily need that, but if you have it, that's completely up to you. And they also have this wash station right over there. What I like is that they have this uh, heater kind of tucked in in the corner. But look at all the space. Isn't this amazing? Put that, put that in your comments below. What do you think of this? Because when I first looked at it, now I want you to point something out. You don't see a garage door because it's on back order. This community is not even opened yet. And because I know the people and do a lot of business with them, I was the very first one, if not the first one, to cover this model. This community is not even open yet. So if you are really thinking about, you know, moving to beautiful sunny Florida, you don't want to be in the hustle and bustle of all Disney and everything, but you want to be able to get an RV that you can park or do whatever, because there is no CDD. The HOA is only $800 a year. Now there is no amenities for it because it just takes care of the street light and the upkeep of the regular space. But that is something that you can get. So there is no CDD, there is no amenities as such, but you know, you can just go down like a YMCA or something if that matters or, and your lot is about 50 by 110 and you can probably build a small pool if not a big pool, but that is something to keep that in mind or maybe just get a cloudy sec or a corner lot that gives you a little bit more space. But look, as I walk in, look at all this space. Look at this. This is your kitchen area. This is your regular size for your uh, island in the kitchen. Now the upgrade is in regards to the stainless steel sink over here and also this nice backsplash. The cabinet is an upgrade with the crown molding. You will have a 36 inch regular and then for your countertop, it is going to be granite, but I really love. So this is an upgraded uh, st uh, stove that you see over here. It's a GE appliance, but I understand that you will get a regular GE stove, but look at your closet space, guys. Uh, look at your pantry space rather, excuse me, but look at all this space right there. This is a really nice big house. It's 1,960 square foot, so it's not as big as it is, but it's comfortable size. But look at this, as I go over here, you have this dining area right over here. Look at this dining space, it's kind of tucked away, but this is something you can, if you don't need, you want this space to be empty, you can use it for something else, put this in that flex area, and then look at this. This is where your family living is, you have your TV station right there, now it has the speakers. That is actually a design center upgrade to keep in mind, but it has this space right there, you have, 
the the window over there the window over there now that is an upgrade now this is the only builder that i know of that puts in extra windows but then you have to pay extra for it but what i also like about this house is that you have this nice covered porch area which is screened now you would have to screen it later on after you buy but you will have this space right there look at the size of this and then you have this screening done you can always do that later on but look at the space that you get right over here you know now the lot is definitely not that big so I mean like pool may not necessarily be a good idea but that is something for you to decide what works for you and your family and guys if you are not sure how winter heaven as a community is please make sure to, to watch my videos on Orlando living we also have a show called Orlando home show in Espanol now my Spanish is poquito but we have that show run by Anna and one of my other colleagues and we do the same homes in Spanish so let's check out the master bedroom of this house so I like that it has this nice walkway leading into your master bedroom and look at the size of this master bedroom isn't that great now these two windows that you see is an extra uh, structural option you would have to pay extra so does for the extra lights that you see up there and the speaker system but you have this nice big window so you may not necessarily need that but that is an option the other thing that I do want to point out is this barn door the builder is probably going to cost you more close to three thousand to four thousand dollars for this barn door and the other day I was in Costco and I saw a similar barn door with them for like twelve hundred or fifteen hundred dollars you get a handyman, pay another three, four hundred dollars, and you save yourself a thousand dollars. You're welcome. So as I walk over here, you have this master bathroom, and this is the water closet space that I was saying, and I like that it has this door right there. It's not too broad, but it's not too slim either. You have the double sink, and you will have the cultured marble instead of granite or the quartz but that is something you can upgrade and then you have the upgrade in regards to the frameless walk-in shower now you do have an option in terms of having a tub i believe but that is something now please keep in mind builders sometimes keep on changing things and they change things not because they like to do it they change things sometimes because you know there's still some logistics issues there's some issues in terms of maybe not finding the frame like right now the garage door for the rv is on a back order you know so that's just to, for you to keep that in mind now as i go over here this is where you have your closet so it's not very very big but it's still very comfortable and if you are looking for a nice place to retire have an rv do your thing this is a great community it doesn't have a lot of overheads that you would see if you're more if you're more into Windermere or Winter Garden and, and you're also not very far from a lot of things. So if you have kids that wants to, your grandkids that visit you, this is a great community. And then they have another model and I promise I've been told that as soon as it's done, it's a lot bigger home. So I will be able to do that. I hope you get a lot of value from our channel. Please press that thumbs up button, subscribe to our channel. And please remember when you give us a call, you know, you'll be talking to somebody on my team and their job is to get the information and connect you to me, Anna, Kenya, Nader, anybody on my team that's a best fit for you so that we can assist you. And our services to you is free. It does not cost you anything. So please keep that in mind. We look forward to connect with you. Thank you for watching. Bye for now.